Anyways, we have the red model player Zirael versus the blue Elven player Sauron in the game number one. In the best of seven, the deciding game series, the most important series in my opinion, even more important than the grand finals, because this one is going to at least determine a spot. Either you will have the bronze medal by reaching the top three spot by losing the series, or you at least reach the silver and with a potential chance of the gold of the title world champion Rise of the Witch King 2022. Very important, best of seven. I wish the players best of luck because they will need it. Trust me on that one. Four slaughterhouses coming up for Mordor and we see three Malone trees coming up for elves. On a map like this, you have the chance for an economical opening and that's exactly what is happening in this game number one. You see greedy opening for Mordor. The reason is simple because the gap between this fortress and this fortress is pretty long. And for that reason, the vault distance is enorm, you know? For that, you know, this kind of gives you the chance to open with an economical opening without having to get punished for it immediately. Stable opening here for Sauron, and Zirael is building up the tavern. Remember the Corsairs got a couple of nerfs after the first introduction, so they are not performing that well anymore. And also, he's kind of getting countered by the enemy Lancers. So, of course, he doesn't know what we know. He doesn't see the opening of uh, opponent. I mean, opening of his opponent like we do, it's a gamble situation. And also, Zirael didn't use the Eye of Sauron for scouting, which is a meh thing. I think when you go for like a greedy move, you should be making sure that you at least scout what is your open, uh, opponent up to, and you can do that with the Eye of Sauron opening. But he's gonna pick up the War Chant, which gives you more early presence. It's a bit stronger compared to the Eye of Sauron, but not by a lot. So the gap in 8.5 was definitely bigger. Now you can still go with the Eye of Sauron without having to sacrifice a lot of damage and or armor. Lansom uh, into the barracks. Will he demolish this? Nope, he won't. He will actually at least recruit one more Lansom. And having mobile units in a, in a map like this can be quite rewarding. The Revendal Lancers against the Corsairs of Umbar. Uh oh, hold ground stance. Oh yeah, they nerfed them. You can see that they nerfed them. <laughs> they nerfed their... They used to be... You needed to trample them at bare minimum four times. But now two tramples do the magical trick. And easy peasy. Would you look at this? Would you look at that? So now you need to combine this with the Easterlings. It's a very important combination. But again, we are seeing a Mordor that is not going for the cheap units, right? Okay? We are not seeing any Orc Pit. Orcs are the cheapest units in the game. Which you can also afford to lose. It's not a big deal. But we don't see any of that. Mordor is going for strong, but also expensive units. And he doesn't even recruit too many Easterlings. He has only one of them. And this one has to protect against its Lancer non-stop. The Haradrim Lancers are not that strong. So I'm not sure if this is a good call. We see also Elven Arches for the defense. And Lancers for the offense. And he will be losing this for sure. Rallying Call, Damage Boost. Mordor is using War Chant. Who will win the 1v1 situation? It looks like Lancers from Mordor are scared and afraid. And remember the Lancers will be able to finish the job. Get the job done. Micro, very well. Here from Sauron. But he's, you know, you cannot micro perfectly because the battalion size is quite big. He's over committing now. Can he get away though? I think they are quite fast, those Lancers from the Elven faction. But are they fast enough? The Mordor Lancers, they seem to be able to catch up to you. It's a very important unit because it's a good faction. You can deal to well and heal up to full HP. You don't want to lose a battalion for no reason. And he was only able to destroy one slaughterhouse and kill one of Corsair. It's still a good opening here for the Alvin play, in my opinion. Mordor couldn't get anything done so far. He was not even able to capture the sickle fire in the middle of the map. No damage dealt to the Mordor, uh, to the Alvin economy. We see a well coming up early for elves, and he's gonna recruit even more lancers. More, more, more. What's up, Roos? It's hey Max, what's up? Okay, Mordor is gonna take the first creep with the Easterlings and Corsairs. Tavern is level 1. Haradrim is level 2. And we don't see any Orc Pit. Maybe when you see too many Lancers, when you play Mordor against Elves, you can also recruit Mafo Sauron as a counter. You know, it's a it's a good hero against Lancers, but also against Archers later on. He has the splash damage, he's quite tanky, has the active debuff that can be quite important in those big fights. And the earlier you get them, the higher you can level them up, you know, the easier you can level them up. With level 7 or 6, you unlock the Evil Eye, which can also be quite impressive against heroes and also eagles. 
Okay, I mean, this actually takes some time to destroy this. The problem is the amount of stuff the lancers have to destroy to get to level 2 is kind of big, you know. You need to destroy at bare minimum 4 resource buildings. So infantry needs way less, you know, requires way less experience points to level up to level 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I mean, you can't even level up to level 10. 5 is the maximum. But Kev needs lots of experience to get to this point. This horse is still running. Ruse Reza, thanks for the primers for the first time subbing to the channel. Really means a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you, my friend. Okay, statue in a well. Oh, bad trample, but it's okay. I mean, as long as you can save one of them, it's not the end of the world. The well healing speed is not that high. That's a beautiful firebomb here coming from the Corsairs. The units are burning from the flames. And you need to make sure to demolish your buildings in time. Because the Corsairs have also the pillage. They are robbing you. They can steal money from you. More firebombs. Mordor is holding himself. After the first couple of minutes into the game, we have five, command, 5 power points collected and awaitable for Zirael after the war chant. He has the chance to go for the Eye of Sauron, which he needs if he wants to unlock the industry later on. He's up to 650 command points. And his opponent has also the 5 power points, and he is at only 535 command points. So it's definitely looking not too bad for Mordor, but it's not a huge advantage either. There comes a big rallying call push from the Lancers, and look at the damage now. When you have them split it up like this, you will be able to destroy this one, and this one right after. And Zirael just doesn't have too many pikemen, but he doesn't need them anymore, as the horse hero, the only horse hero from the Mordor faction, Mouth of Sauron, is approaching... To the battlefield. And unlike in the films, there is no Aragorn that can one-shot him. Boom. Look at this damage. Boom. Boom. Double kill. Boom. Level almost three. Just like that. Rock, paper, scissors, baby. Counter what your opponent has to offer and you are good to go. And level four is so big for this dude. Level four unlocks the doubt and look at him go. Look at him go. But he killed the builder. That's good. But he, he lost the whole battalion. So a builder for a whole battalion is pretty much even, because the Lancer costs 500 and the builder costs 500. But the builder is definitely more valuable, because it kind of blocks you, blocks your momentum, or stops your momentum for a bit, when you have only one builder. So Mordor is a lead game machine, but also elves are pretty strong army-wise in the, in the lead game. So what people need to realize, okay, when I play against elves, what I need are catapults. And you see elves are spamming too many arches, the only or the easiest way of dealing with that are actually catapults. The elven archers basically deal zero damage to catapults, zero. And when you spam them, when you have like a couple of Easterlings protecting them, your catapults can actually mess up the elven archers big time. Big time. Oh, Haldir, level one. The problem is the fear resistance. So in order to get fear resistance with this faction against a faction like elves, with, you know, with potential two fear effects, Cloudbreak, and also the Golden Arrow, we need to recruit Gothmog. Oh, 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 Haldir! Oh, but don't overcommit. There are pikemen, they can one-shot you on horse. In the meantime, Sauron was able to creep this troll there. But would you look at the minimap, boys? Zirael is expanding like crazy. Look at his command points. He's up to 750 command points. In Mordor late game, boys, you know that. It's very powerful. I mean, Sauron is trying to pressure... Look at the Corsair drinking, you know, it's a weekend time, of course, he's celebrating the entrance of the weekend. It's a level almost to Malone 3, Corsairs have the pillage, remember? They can steal you, steal from your money, and that's why Sauron has to make sure to demolish the buildings in time. This dude is going to just chase down the Lancers, that's all he needs to do. In the meantime, Mordor lost the fight over here to the pikemen and archers, but Mordor is pressuring with Corsairs, and... Sauron has all the Lancers in the front. He has nothing to defend himself with. No Lancer. It means the Corsairs, they can keep going. They should be attacking this one, by the way. But they didn't. Now they won't be able to finish it off, I think. It's a level 2 building too. Which Sauron has to try to protect. It's a you know, building that is tankier. And also gives you more command points plus resources. So the higher level the buildings are, of course, is the better it is. Okay. What is the game breaking point here? What is the win condition here? What we are looking for? That's gonna be a big question. I think it's gonna be Eagles from, for Elves. It's gonna be quite hard to deal with the Eagles when you play Mordor because he has nothing to shoot with yet 
but you will eventually get the chance to recruit Haradrim archers later on. And in order to give them proper leadership, I mean, you have Eye of Sauron, but also you can recruit Drummer Trolls. Troll Cage is a building we don't get to see very often anymore, but I think it's quite underrated. Maybe not the Mountain Trolls, but Drummer Trolls can be definitely rewarding, especially if you have like strong units like Corsairs or Haradrim Lancers, Archers, I mean, then you can support them for additional perma leadership. And then you have the Fear Effect too, which Alvin Faction has nothing to put against. In order to counter the fear, elves have to go for Alvin Wood, which can be covered by your Tainted Land. And also Alvin Wood is gonna lead later on. He's running it down. That's the whole battalion, man. This dude is level 4, by the way. He has the Doubt. Tainted Land was summoned from the Mordor player. That's gonna slow him down a bit in his journey to reach industry. But elves are starting to win those fights. You know, strong front line with the pikemen and strong you know, back line with the archers. Parax level 1, Parax level 1 and early armory. So he might go for armor plus bleeds on his lancers to have more structural damage. But also he can, you know, not do this and go for the silverton arrows. Thanks, how did you even win the first game versus Fisher? I thought it was over after a couple of minutes with all that peasant spam. I never give up, never surrender, my friend. <laughs> never give up, never surrender. I mean, I to, to be honest, I was also like, ah, this game is doomed, you know? But then you creep a bit. Then you, you know, don't give up. You can maybe find ways to get back into the game. Lofsen with the T1 for 11 months. Thank you so much, Lofsen. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Lobson just resubscribed for 11 months. Ahoy. Haradrim Arches, boys. Would, would you look at this? But, you know, there is Haldir shooting at you non-stop. It's a hero that can level up quite easily to level 5. There are no pikemen or not... In oh, but he's microwing. That's good. The opt is still available. You can debuff them. Power is going to be cancelled. And that's going to be the second builder Mordor is about to lose. He's trying to save him. Okay, oh, bad trample into the pikeman. Bad trample aboard the mission. Oh, bad trample also from the... Oh, be careful, mouth of Sauron. Never mind, he killed all of them with the with the archers, actually, here. And now, this dude can finish off the rest. I don't think Haldir can kill him anytime soon. He's too tanky. Too tanky against arrows. He has also almost 3.5k health. And towering up. Towers actually quite good against elves because it's hard for them, you know, for them to destroy this. But remember, the Mordor Tower is the only tower in the game that cannot be garrisoned. You cannot put additional units inside of the tower for the defense. 9 power points after um, the 5 power points here. Warchant, I and Land. And Elves went for the Elven Wood, okay? Elven Wood will lead later on to the Ants. I believe Eagles could be still good. But Ants have more siege potential against the Fortress. So we will see about that. Oh! Thank you, Abby, for the 20. Oh my goodness, I see the chat only. Abby, Abby, have a 900. Abby, have a 900. Abby, have a 900. Alvin Wood coming in clutch. Hinder and Islam cooldown can be covered. Industry is going to be used on the slaughterhouse here. Where? On this one. And Siege Works coming up here for level 3 for the Black Riders. And Mordor was able to defend this area good uh, too. Radrum Arches have also the barbed arrow shot, which can deal, you know, bonus damage to units. And this dude is on the hand. Would you look him, look him go? Go, 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 go. I mean, he's so fast, man. This is unbelievable. How fast this Elven heroes are even on foot. Look, look, the this, you see this problem? Like, he's stopping to auto attack him one time, but he's auto attacking in, like, slow motion speed. And after his auto attack goes off... Haldir is able to get such a big distance from him that chasing down Haldir with this hero makes it it's quite impossible. Look at him shooting. He has also the Forge Bleeds, but I think there are too many towers shooting. Archers, level 3, Slaughterhouse, Tower, so it's hard to defend. Uh, hard to deal damage, I mean, with only one unit. 950 command points against 885 command points. Dude, I want to see the ring hero. I mean, there has to be Gollum somewhere lurking around the map. And whoever kills him, would have, and he has 10,000, the chance to recruit a ring hero. Either it's going to be Galadriel for the Elven faction, or Sauron for the Mordor faction. 
Imagine you recruit Sauron against Sauron. That would be quite epic, if you ask me. Too deep, but he's gonna get away. No problemo. The Alf is so strong, you know. Make them deal way less damage. Which is pretty good. And we will have soon the Black Riders, boys. The Black Riders are coming in clutch very, very soon. For Mordor. And would you look at this, man? This guy is towering up. Like, how many towers? Yes, you know. <laughs> One tower, two towers, three towers, four... Five, build me towers worthy of Mordor. And even one in the front. But now he has Forge Bleeds and he has a bunch of melee units, you know, Swordmen and Pikemen. This tower is going to be taken down. Archers, there is no Lancer that can trample down the Archers. And Black Riders are coming in clutch. They need to avoid fighting the Pikemen, though it's very important. And to be honest, there is not much damage output here in the ranged. Beautiful Trample coming in clutch. Do they have armor? Nope, they don't have armor, but they didn't get one-shotted. And they will keep going now. That's good. I don't know, man, how he survived that, actually. I was expecting him to die way quicker, also, when he was fighting against Pikeman. But he's a big boy now, you know, level 5, level almost 6. Level 7 unlocks the Evil Eye. That's gonna be pretty big. And look at the lenses go. Holy moly, what, what, what's that? Heavy armor plus forge bleeds. I'm happy though, because upgrades are something we don't normally see in this game. And we have seen more upgrades in the beta than we have seen before in previous patches. It's pretty lit. Malantri level 3 will be eventually taken down by the Corsairs. Again, whenever they deal damage, they rob you, they make you poor. Catapult will be killed in a, in a second. And Mouth of Sauron is on the hand. Look. This units, they look so cool with the golden armor, armor they get. You need drummer trolls. Or Mumma Kilpan can do the trick too. Mumma Kilpan is coming up. And you see, a map like this will open so many opportunities for us to see. Because you get quite rich in this map. It's big map. You can't really punish your opponent big time. In a, you know, unlike in a small map like Force of Eisen. So we see a late, late game potential here. For Mordor, we, have, we are talking about Black Riders. Haradrim Archers. Mumu kills. For elves, we are talking about upgrades, lancers, pikemen, Lorien warriors, Haldir. In the army, look the barbed arrow shot coming in clutch. Catapult shot. Actually, a long range. Holy moly, man. That's a really long range, by the way, guys. Like he's shooting from here to this location. It's pretty lit. Two towers, best movie. True. Two towers, but also I like the Return of the King, man. The Return of the King has this, you know, Minas Tirith battle in the Theodine speech in the Telenor fields. That was pretty epic too. What's up, Abrasive? What's up, my friend? Leadership unlocked level 6. Again, level 8 is going to cause problems because you can stun them, which is quite effective against Black Riders. They cannot move, which gives you the chance to commit on them. There comes Cloudbreak. Went for the land and then Cloudbreak right after. There is, again, no fear resistant. Land will be covered though, but there comes the Cavalry. You cannot move. Look at Mouth of Sauron HP. He doubted it, but I doubt he will survive this. I doubt he will survive this after doubting the enemy. And Mouth of Sauron has been taken down. It's going to be a big, 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 big W here for the Alvin player. The Black Riders will only the, be the only unit which will be able to survive the situation. Beautiful Trample coming in clutch. They are still level 1, level 2 has to be unlocked. For the Dread Visage, for the debuff, which is a passive debuff, unlike the debuff from the, from the Mouth of Sauron. But Mouth of Sauron is able to nullify your leadership bonuses too, unlike this one. 12 power points after the Cloud Break, Mordor is up to 13 power points after Industry. So he can, he doesn't have the 15 yet. So he needs 2 more power points for his 15, which might be potentially the Worm Summon. And then he needs 25 power points on top of that to get to the point in which he can use the Rain of Fire or summon the Balrog. But his opponent is so much, so much closer to the 25. Now, the flood will be eventually unlocked way sooner. He's at 13 power points already after the cloud break, which is a 15 power point usage. So, he's basically, long story short, 11 power points away. Or 12 power points away. The tower is going to be destroyed, no problemo. They are bringing the ring to Lothlorien. And we know what it might mean later on. Because we are talking about the Elven faction with 960 command points. Oh, I didn't see that actually. But the pikes slaughtered him, man. The pikes are too strong in this game, I'm telling you guys. They are countering legit almost everything. Including Mumu kills. And the Mumu kill got wiped out. It's a big creature, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter. 
Because the pikes have long spears, you know? And size apparently means everything. So, basically, long story short, if the game goes for... What is this, man? We need to build a wall, and we need to build it quickly. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, you shall not enter my city. That's what Sauron is trying to say. He's like, this is my country, and I have borders. Unless you are from Europe, and you have visa, you cannot just visit my country like this. I have police, I have borders. You need to have like a pass control, you know what I mean? Like you need to put like a guard here for the passport control. There comes a moment kill. Okay, almost 20 power points. 1000 resources, but it's okay. He will grow rich. And he's doing a phenomenal job with the lancers. Over and over again. Keep harassing non-stop. Mafosauron is back in the business. Almost level 6. But you see, the problem is going to be the cloud break. The cloud break is reloading. And that's not the only problem. Okay. Charge, dude. Charge. Why doesn't he charge? He's charging now. Too tanky, the spike man. Too tanky. Alright. Big commitment here. With the lancers. Catapult shots. Expansion around the fortress. But again, all of that will be meaningless. The second elves are at 25 power point. He went for the worm summon. I missed that part. And here we have Haldir back in the business. And that's what I was trying to say. He's almost level 7. And again, level 8 is going to unlock yet another stun. Which Mordor can't play against, really. He has no pure resistant, which is only possible to get when you have the Govmog and he is level 5 at bare minimum for the Iron Hand. And then with double stun, it's quite annoying to play against. Because Cloud Break is a quarter away from being available for the second time. So you use Cloud Break, and after the few seconds of the stun, you can use Golden Arrow to stun him again. So, long story short, he won't be able to play the game for like 20 seconds, which is a long time for this army to wipe out everything that you have to offer and he's building it another wall here so basically he's making it impossible for mordor to entry to enter this area from this location in this location so also this location has been blocked so he's giving you only one option and this is this that's all you can use now Silverton arrow is available, that's good. With ring, yeah, it's available, you know. <laughs> I'm I'm so I'm so <laughs> I'm so confused that people in the finals are still so surprised, you know. They are acting like that never happened before. They're acting like, oh, with the ring? Really? Just like the times we played in the group stage, in the round of 16, in the quarterfinals, in the semifinals, really, it didn't change, the rule didn't change because we are in the finals, because you have the ring now, the rule still applies. Yeah, it's still available. And he's gonna build yet another wall here. So that's gonna be the only small entrance potential <laughs> the Mordor will have against the elves. Poor elephants, yeah. Mumma kills, they are. In, in German, when you play this game in German, they are called Olifanten. Very, very smart uh, word, by the way. Olifants, Olifanten. Because the normal elephant in German means also, means also elephanten. And not very smart, but just, just to change the first letter and put O, -O instead of E, you know. <laughs> olifanten. Mumma kills sound more dangerous. But he destroyed the part of the ball. Now he has like a git. He has also black orcs with forge plates, by the way. Something you don't see very often. And even heavy armor. That's how they look like. Easterlings too. I like Black Oryx, man. They look very, very nice. 24 power point in Cloud Break is all about to be available. Which gives you the chance to stop the Black Riders from moving. And then your pikemen can finish them off. I mean, I think he will do that very soon, right? He will eventually try to stop them. Now, now you could do this. Uh-oh. Yeah, too tanky, man. You can't fight against that. Maybe you can, actually. It's a huge elven army over here. He has also Tranduil. That's cool. A hero I have not... I forgot his existence. Thanks once again for 20. <laughs> Thank you. Who is this player, man? Did somebody hack Avihave's password on Twitch? What's going on? 
25 power points. Armor upgrade on the fortress. He has also the Gorkorov Inspire Fireball. Brand to Brand to Let's Go. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Inumara got a special gift that's up from Ave. Special frame, special treatment. He went for the Sunflare, which has the chance to also wipe out a Mordar army. But not that strong against buildings, you know? It's not bad, but it's not as good as Flat is, for example. Awe or 900 gifted a new Mara a subscription. What a monster. Awe or 900 gifted a tier 1 sub to a new Mara. They have given 81 gift subs in the channel. Um, is it good to play the wall? I mean, yeah, why not? You know, it's kind of blocking your opponent's movement and giving you additional reaction time. It's not bad. Maybe on a map like this, it's actually not bad because he has like a very strong and broad area. Look, he can do whatever he wants in this area. And whenever the opponent is coming close, he will see them and the wall is going to stop their movement for at least a bit, which will give you a chance to react to that. It's not bad at all. I don't think it's bad. Oh, but this might be bad. Oh, he's going to die. Holy moly! Gorgorov, Spire, Fireball, I didn't even see that coming! That was phenomenal, man! Look at the heroes go down in one second! The Black Rider! Dude, that was a... What? This Gorgorov, Spire, this was phenomenal move, man! Doubt them, make them weaker so they lose armor, and then Gorgorov on their face, son! That was juicy, juicy, juicy. And that's what I was expecting from the finals of the loser bracket. Let's go, man. Let's go. Gorgorov, boys. Holy nice. That was beautiful. The Witch King is also recruited. This game is offering everything. And I'm telling you, the only thing missing might be Galadriel, <laughs> the Elven Queen. How tragic. The Black Riders are coming. And uh, I did did he survive actually with Thranduil? I'm not sure. The black the black orcs coming here from this location too. A Balrog of Morgoth, a demon of the ancient world. I mean, this game is not over yet, but I think um, this was a beautiful play. He kind of you know destroyed like 500 war of, of command points from his opponent with one single play. The mass destruction, atomic bomb on your face, son. But he has the Sunflare Cloud Play combination, so you can definitely freeze those black riders. They are still only level one. And they will be not immune to fear until they reach level 5. It's very minimum. The walls are falling apart of the Elven faction. The catapults shooting from, you know, big long range. And they also get movement kills. And now I'm not sure... Shkili 3 just gifted 50 subs. What a pirate. What? <laughs> Thank you, Shilikli, for 50 gifted subs. Appreciate it. Look at this. Look at this uh, sound flare. One shot at the moment, by the way. <laughs> Thank you so much. I think everybody in, on Twitch chat or right now in the, in the live stream should be having a sub now next to their name. Avi gifted 41. Shikli gifted 50, 50 subs. Look, we have still non-subs in the, in the chat. Actually, we have still lots of people non-sub in the chat. That's quite unlucky for you <laughs> guys. <laughs> you should play Lotto today. Maybe not. All right, Witch King has been dismounted. Level 1. A very strong level 2 debuff, by the way. I mean, this debuff is stronger than the Daub from this dude. Which is only for a short duration. But Witch King is active as long as Witch King is near to you. That's very, very good, you know. Lots of units. Boom, boom, boom. Lots of Lancers. Mirk Woods upon the field, 7 power points in the bank, and we have 20 for Mordor player Zirael. And, you know, we will have very, very soon 25. So the good thing here for Zirael is, of course, that the Elven player was forced to use the 25 defensively to deal with the Mumu kills. He couldn't get anything done. There comes the Cloud Break for the second time. The power points are rising to the sky. The Worm can also be used to knock them up in the air. But Witch King is diving in. I don't see what's going on. Witch King is going on. Witch King is inside the jeans, boys. But the pikemen, guess what? Are even countering Witch King when he is not mounted on his, you know, on his horse. Which this Witch King can't. But he can get mounted on his, on his, you know, fell beast. But he will get one shot. He's going to get now mounted and get away. Ali, Arrivederci. Lancers, you cannot catch me. You have 27 power points. Gorgoros Pyre Fireball is almost back up very, very soon. Mumaki level 2. 
Mumbai Kid Pan level 2 because of the 10% faster production speed. If you want to get it faster, you need to invest another 500 and you can get them 25% faster. The Reign of Fire is going to be available. And the question is, will he use it defensively like his opponent did with the Sunflare or will he use it more offensively? By dealing damage to the buildings that's going to be the question the worm is going to be summoned here to destroy the level 3 malone that's pretty good the album player is dropping down to 425 but look his money boys we know he's under control of the one rank we know what that might mean for later on all you need are 10,000, and you already have the 50 percent of the money you would need and then who is going to deal with the alvin queen that's going to be the golden question I don't think anybody can deal with that. Worm is getting repositioned a couple of times. We have Tom Bombadil available now from the Spellbook of Elves. He's going to summon it offensively. And we will see a beautiful and juicy Tommy, Tommy, Tom Riddle. Tom Riddle? No, that's wrong. That's the wrong film. Be careful. Worm is going to get killed by the Pikeman. Rain of Fire. He's still holding on it. And Abby with another gift that's up to my, my flower. Thank you, Abby. Thank you. How much is the loading for the recruiting of the ring hero? It's pretty long actually, like 3 minutes I would say, 3-4 minutes. Away or 900 gifted my Mayflower a subscription. What a monster. Away or 900 gifted a tier 1 sub to my Mayflower. They have given 82 gift subs in the channel. Oh, 82 gift subs to the channel. Thank you so much. Oh, there comes Cloudbreak. He used the Rain of Fire by the way. Offensively I missed that one. Sorry for that. Cloudbreak didn't... There was no Cloud Break, right? No, it was Golden Arrow, I believe, right? Thranduid is still level 1. <laughs> it's a very questionable hero. Level 3, Witch King. Too expensive, you know. Thranduid is just too expensive, I think. That comes with Doubt. And when you recruit him late, you don't really have kill pressure on your opponent. You need to be at least level 4 with the Dead Eye to have like to, are, like, to be like threatening against enemy heroes with them, you know, with this ability for increased range, damage, and speed. But until this moment, you cannot really deal too much damage to your heroes and uh, to enemy heroes unless they just stand still and they don't move. Which, you know, mortal heroes can definitely move. They are quite mobile. With this dude being able to fly and this dude being able to, you know, ride on his horse. Haldir is trying to run for his life. Golden Arrow is on cooldown. I kill you with the five gifted. Thank you so much, I kill you. Appreciate the support. Really means a lot. A kill underscore you just gifted five subs. What a pirate. Thank you so much. Thank you, my friend. Thrandil almost level two. <laughs> I mean, the question is, will he get level two by the end of the game, though? Dude, I don't know. Peter Coco, pretty unlucky. Watch me. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay. So this game, though, I mean, look at the money from elves, though. I mean, now you might say, but this game is looking bad for elves, and I agree with that one. But we know there is a certain hero you can recruit, which can kind of, you know, get you back into the game. And this is going to be the Alvin Queen. Yes, ring heroes are allowed in this tournament, because it's most likely, it's quite unlikely that somebody will find the ring, bring it to the fortress, and manage to save up for 10,000 to recruit the ring hero. It's quite rare, and... Just for the sake it might happen, we allowed it. So we can see a bit more fiesta. Even though ring heroes are quite hard to be dealt with, but they are not impossible to be killed. You can still kill them. It will just take you lots of resources to do that. Catapult will be crushed in a second. Beautiful trample, lots of lancers here. The pikeman, he doesn't have too many of them. The backline was not protected. One trample, and he dealt a lot of damage here. The Witch King might... I don't know. Can Witch King deal with Galadriel? I'm, I have my doubts about that one, to be honest. Maybe with the... I don't think he can deal with the with, with the Galadriel. Maybe this thing can. Dude, this... By the way, Mouth Hostron is level 9. Maybe Moomer kills can deal with her. I don't know. Maybe like 3, 4 Moomer kills charging her down. Maybe that's gonna be the, 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 you know, the answer to the problem Galadriel. Because she has been recruited. She is currently cooking in the Alvin Fortress. It's, a, it's just a matter of time. And the Alvin Queen is going to approach and make it into the skin. Mortal heroes can kill Ring Hero? Yeah, we will find out eventually, right? We will have... No doubt, there will be Galadriel very soon. This dude is level 3 actually, it's pretty nice, you know? Only took him 25 minutes. 
But for Southern Levels 9, this can make, I think, them fight against each other. Something we don't see very often. A level 10 hero is quite rare unless it's like Haldir or something. Looking for a trample potential. Oh! What? The moment is screaming in end language? March of the end. No, it's from the Twitch chat. I was surprised. I was like, why is this guy charging and talking like Tribute? Hold on. Guys, look at this. Eagle summon. Cloud Break is available. He could use it. Sunflay is reloading. Mordor is up to 22 power points after the Worm summon. Beautiful trample and Elven player will be able to defend himself for now. But Mordor is up to 1000 command points, okay? He's quite rich. He's as strong as he potentially could get. Gorgoroth is available now for the second time. We are talking about Siegeworks level 3, Mumakirpan level 2, Orpit level 2, Haradrim Palace level 3, Tavern level 3. So we are talking about a very late, late, late game Mordor. And the question will be, can late, late, late game Mordor deal with one of the two strongest beings in this game? Very soon, in, from soon this Master gate, Elf, you will enjoy the fabled hospitality of the door. Somebody will approach, boys. Somebody will approach. The eagles are cleaning up. Witch King is being chunk, 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 chunk. But again, in the worst case, you can get mounted and get away. Barricade can be summoned. If you don't know, you can buy an upgrade on the fortress, the flaming upgrade, like you did. And they will also boost the damage from the summoned barricades. They will now be able to shoot with fire arrows, you know? It's pretty no good. You can see the recruit time is quite long. Mordor, if Mordor could control the One Ring, you also would have the chance to recruit Galadriel, or Sauron in this case. I mean, the walls, he, was, he has only the wall here, but the walls, as you can see, they are not really stopping Mordor from entering at all. Like, they, they buy maybe five seconds time, but that's pretty much it. He's building up the barracks now. He lost everything around this area to the Rain of Fire, into the Worm. But, yeah, boys, let's do this. Look at her. The last march of the edge is going to be a good one. The last march of Galadriel is going to be a good one. Let's see. A whole army of Mordor versus the Elven Queen Galadriel. This is the moment Sauron was hoping for, waiting for, since he was struggling. Can she be the win condition can she be the one solution to all his current problems she's chunking kicking boom boom <laughs> no man can kill me no man can kill me trample 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 look the pikeman chunking dude the pikeman revenge damage on the mumma kill is crazy and it still only counts as one give me this right Oh, by the way, this dude has been killed. Mouth of Sauron. Or this is Mouth... Yeah, I think so. He has been killed. And now who's gonna stop him? Who's gonna stop her? I mean, sorry. Level 5. Oh, this is also becoming dangerous, actually. Now here's the dead eye. And I'm telling you, this hero is very situational hero. But I think when he gets level 10 with the Torn of Vengeance, this one, he can chunk like anybody. Maybe even one shot, almost one shot Witch King. 17 power points. So the Balrog, maybe. Maybe it's gonna be epic showdown between the Balrog of Morgoth and Galadriel, the ring hero, later on. Because Mordor needs only 8 more power points for the 25. 8 more. Yeah, the Oliphants, uh, the, not Oliphants, the Moomer kills, they don't do much. Gothmog is a bit too late. I mean, he's level 1. What is he gonna do, right? I think Trondil can kill him in a second. Sunflame is going to be available soon. In the push, you can see the momentum he's creating with Galadriel's approach. Now we have the Elven squad here. Elven heroes, Thranduil, Glorfindel, Hildir level almost 10. And, oh, Barrage will be used. Will be enough to kill the army, but will it be enough to kill the heroes? Glorfindel is being kind of sent inside the army of Mordor. He's going to die. There is no way he can survive this. But he's fast, man. He's so fast. Or if he can get away from this situation. Dude, watch, pay attention. Witch King, finish him. One hit. Witch King, finish him. One hit, yeah. Okay, here's the Morgul Blade now, un under his control. I don't think it can stop Galadriel from moving. I don't think anything can stop Galadriel from moving, really. And she's fine, right? She's absolutely fine. She's still full HP. Sound player. 
The thing is, Sunflare can kill also, I believe, the Black Riders can get one-shotted from it. I'm pretty certain that pretty much all the army from Mortal can get one-shotted by the Sunflare, but maybe Witch King can survive this. But then when it's only Witch King, you can use your Trandwheel and your, you know, heroes to finish him off anyway. It's not a big deal. I mean, even though the Mortal army is looking scary, but again, what is scarier than that are definitely the ring heroes in this game. And remember, in this game, they're not even that OP. In Give Me 2 1.09, they are game winning single handedly. They have like whole. Oh, Golden Arrow Stun. No fear resistance. They are flying. Payback from the films. Boom, kick. Boom, kick. Boom, kick. Punch, kink. Oh, the splash. The Witch King has been killed by Trandwheel. Trandwheel, the Witch King Slayer. Alright. Level 6. Okay. That's big. And he has also Flood now, by the way. He has now the Flood too. Or oh, the Flood here or here. Troll, maybe Troll Cage. Look, I think I think Zireal is now kind of having like a brainstorming about the potential choice. Oh, the Flood! Uh, oof, the Flood hurts, man. I'm surprised that the Tavern was able to survive that. 6,000 HP. Martina, thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Is she vulnerable? She kinda is, but he's playing it very smart, you know, he doesn't overcommit with her. He's like taking small trades and disengaging. Like normal units can't deal with that, you know, because she's knocking you up anyway and, you know, kicking you in the air. How can you deal damage to her? We need archers. Maybe, I I'm pretty certain that maybe Haradrim archers, like a couple of them, with the barbed arrow shot, flaming arrows, the drama leadership, maybe they can do the trick. But she is still the whirlwind, keep that in mind. Oh, Sunflare, the 25s are so devastating. Flood here, Sunflare here, Gorgorov, Gorgorov, you need to do it now. Do it now, he's gonna not do it yet. Trollkish is building up, the tornado is coming in clutch from Galadriel. Only one Mumma kill, and Galadriel is just doesn't care, you know, doesn't care. She's one shooting Mumma kill too. I mean, to be honest, he was low HP. Gorgorov, you need to Gorgorov, my friend. But to be honest, there is nothing to Gorgorov anyway, right? He has only one archer. The problem are the heroes. Trandwheel and... Oh my. Pew, pew. Level 6. Has the dead eye and also has the wild walk, which can make the units invisible. And there comes the big rallying call push with four lancers. If this guy gets me level 10, I don't know. He's so strong, by the way, against horses. That's crazy. Almost level 10. Look, the tornado still keeps damaging the building. How long this thing lasts for, man? It's crazy. How long is this thing gonna last for, the tornado? I don't know, man. Level almost 10, level 6. I'm telling you, from the moment on in which Galadriel joined the battlefield, the game turned around, like big time. Now Mordor is kind of poor, he has the Rina of Fire, and he has the Gorgoros Fire Fireball, but all of that is not going to fix the problem of Galadriel, you need to find a way to kill her, which is way easier said than done, way easier said. So you need maybe attack trolls, maybe you need Haradrim Lancers, but I mean you have 1000 command points, you are not poor, right, you can still, oh my goodness, Black Riders, do it now, Gorgorov plus Rina Fire, maybe you can finish it. I'm not sure about how much damage Gorgorov will be able, I mean, the Rain of Fire is going to be able to deal. But she's so low now, now you need to do stuff, man. Shoot Gorgorov and use Rain of Fire. This combination, double double atomic bomb, might be enough. Gorgorov, Spire Fireball, okay. Did nothing, by the way, did nothing to her. Absolutely nothing. She has been healed from it, I'm telling you. And not only did, not only did it no damage, but she got healed from it. What the heck? 17 power points. The Balrog is needed, man. You need Balrog. Like, to fight a beast, you need a beast, okay? I mean, when Mordorwood gets out on, it would be over, right? Because, you know. But he can't anymore. There is only one ring. And one Lord of the Rings or the Queen of the Rings. 17 power points in the bank for Mordor. The 25s are reloading. Cloudbreak is available. 14 power points on top of that. Elves are not that rich. 
but you need ants, you need tree beard, you need some sort of siege weapons to successfully deal damage because the fortress from Mordor is very strong. Look at this, man. Look how many tribal catapult expansions, like all of them, legit. There is only one tower, and all of that other other expansions are catapults. So it's very very powerful. It's gonna be hard to break through that. Cloud break is gonna be used now to stun them, and there comes the rain of fire. The green arrow witch king is on the hand, but she, he's so low, and you can't. He's gonna cripple Glorfindel, who is level one. He's gonna die. Look at him, double, double trouble, and almost level ten. Almost decent will be available. The builder will be taken care of by the Black Riders. And Mordor is still somehow in the game, but you will never be fully in the game until Eladriel is going to be taken down. Because she is going to heal up to full HP and she can do what she's doing all day. Land can be used to cover this, by the way, if he wants to. And he will be using that immediately. But keep in mind that Alvin Wood has way shorter cooldown compared to the Tainted Land. Because it's obvious. Of course, it's normal because it costs 10 power points and the Tainted Land only costs 5 power points. So you can... You will see, like, the Elven Wood is going to be available way sooner, compared to the Tainted Land. Way sooner. Witch King can you be used? Maybe, I don't know, man. Can this do something, though? I don't think... Like, what is this going to do? Target enemy special ability timers are reset to just used. I mean, yeah, then she might not be able to use the Tornado or the Fury, but... That's not the problem. <laughs> she is tanking, mobile, and hitting like a truck. That's the problem. Powers are getting destroyed in a few seconds. By the Black Riders in Mouth of Sauron. Do you get experience for it? Yeah, you get experience for it. Level 10. Unlocked. And there comes the Elven Hero Squad one more time. Tornado is almost available. The Nature's, nature's Wrath. Okay? Catapult shooting the second you get try to make it close to this area. Which King can turn and fight. No problem. He's level 6 too. He's not weak by all means. There comes Treebeard. Will he be able to outrange the catapults? That's gonna be the big question. Because I believe the second he steps up, the catapult is gonna shoot at you, and you are vulnerable against fire damage, and the catapult is gonna kill you eventually. 22. I think Mordor should try to get to Balrog ASAP. That might be the only possible. I mean, the problem is not even Balrog can deal with Galadriel, really. I think Galadriel is just too tanky. Balrog will need ages to kill her. And she can always get away. Balrog can't catch her. How, how is he going to be able to catch? Balrog is very slow. The Black Riders got melted, by the way. Melted. Use this, man. Use this, dude. Come on now. It's your time to shine. Mouth of Sauron. Uh-oh. Tornado. She's going to use it. Boom. And all the expansions. Shit. 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 <laughs> Yeah, yep, 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 yep. You need to use it. He's gonna use it. I wanna see the animation. I did I never saw this. He's gonna evil actually evil I dealt great chunk of damage to her. Not bad. I was expecting less, to be honest. It's like what? 30% damage. But the fortress is being chunked. Why don't you use his ability, man? Use it. He's gonna use it now. Okay. He's gonna make them fight against each other. Look, the pikes are going tribute on tribute ham. But they are scared. Why are they scared? Level 7 killed him in a second. Mouth of Sauron got killed. And there comes Balrog summon. But why offensively? There comes the end summon. The barrage will be summoned to enter the end summon. But the fortress being chunked. Why would you use it offensively? How much damage can you potentially deal? I mean, he has a catapult here. But he lost the fortress. Mordor has a lot of money. And elves, they don't. I think Witch King also got killed, but El Elven Queen is coming back. And all you gotta do is kill this catapult. Witch King is here. Use Screech. Uh, use this and a Screech. Ah, you can't. It would not be enough anyway. There is a tower. Witch King is gonna be sent to finish off the fortress. Look, the Balrog is receiving so much damage from the arrows too. Gothmog using Tomato. Whipping, doing, cry trying everything he can. Oh, yeah, they swapped the fortresses. Mordor destroyed Elven Fortress, and Elves destroyed the Mordor Fortress. And Mordor has money to rebuy the fortress, and Elves don't. Is he rebuying the fortress already? Yes, he does. That's actually big, man. Elves are... I mean, Elves will also be able to do that. Does he have money? A uh, builder? Let me check. 
I, mean, I hope he has a builder, right? He has a builder, right? Okay. That's good. Mordor is already, you know, building up the fortress. It's really good. Witch King is going to be also able to get away from the situation, maybe. Dude, Thranduil is actually long range. And he's so fast too. One more shot and he's going to die. He's trying to finish off the Witch King. He's level 7. At the level 8 is not going to really do much for you. Thranduil is going to be able to finish him. Watch this. He's going to get on Fel Felbys. Shoot! Oh my goodness. That was your time to shine, bro. Big commitment here. The troll is smashing everything. The attack trolls. What is this game, bro? Okay. Witch can get away. The fortress is almost up for Mordor. And Alps have also 3.5k. So you need 5,000. And if you can't build the fortress, you cannot use any of your power points. And now we are talking about a lead, 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 lead game in which power points are too impactful to be ignored. So elves will need to invest 5,000 for this. Does he have a second builder too? I don't think so. I think he has only one builder, actually. That's the only builder he has who just built a barracks here. And if Mordor somehow manages, I'm telling you boys, if Mordor somehow manages to kill this builder, it's over. Legit. I mean, maybe not. There is still gonna... I don't know, man. This game is crazy. By the way, level 5, it's good. It's now the fear resistant. Elves are almost at 5,000, but Mordor has now the fortress back in the business. Now he can officially use his power points again, which elves can't. Because you need 5,000 and then you need to wait until it's fully built up too, right? But the heroes are too dangerous, man. This guy, even level 10 Haldir, you know? Mirkwoods, tree beard. Fortress is coming up for Elves the second time. He actually has a second builder. Never mind. He has a builder for building a fortress and a builder building a tower. But imagine. Okay. Catapult has been killed. Drama Troll. What can Drama Troll do against Galadriel? Let's be honest. I think she's too tanky. Witch King is coming for scouting. There's a tower with... Um, will he be able to see this? But against the power of mortal. Can be oh, he found the fortress with three beard. Oh, how are we gonna deal with the fortress now? That's a big question. He has armor on it, but it's a matter of time. If you can't kill three beard, oh my, the black riders, what can they do, bro? What can they do, bro? They get one shotted. They get sent flying. Look, flying to the next map. Three beard is just fine. The worm might do the trick. Why is he summoning the worm? He's committing with the, with the attack trolls. The builder. The builder has been killed. This is going to be the commitment. Is he, if he can destroy the fortress and kill the builder. If he can kill the builder, it's over. He has no more builder. This is the second. This is the last builder remaining. He's running for his life, but he can't get away. He's going to get away in, into the building. If he can kill the builder, it's over. He's trying so hard to save him. He's trying so hard to save him. No, but he's so annoying with the building stuff. Galadriel come all the way back. In the meantime, the fortress is safe from Mordor. And the build is going to be just safe too. Remember, he lost. He had two builders. He lost one of them. Look, the rams. Elves have 9,000, but can't use the builder yet to build the fortress. And again, what you need to understand, during all the time the power points from Mordor are reloading, and the power points from Elves don't. What is this game, boys? Yeah, Witch King down. Witch King down. Gothmog, the only remaining hero. Darkness is active. Dude, I'm losing my voice. What the heck? And Elves still not building the fortress, by the way. Do it, man. You have to <laughs> Okay, finally, he's going to build it. But he w at least he wasted his time and he defended his fortress in the meantime. That's pretty good for Mordor. Level 3 Troll Cage, level 3 Siege Works, level 2 Siege Works, another Siege Works here at the bottom left corner, multiple slaughterhouses spread out through the map, Darkness is still active, level 1 Haradrim Palace here, level 3 Haradrim Palace here. I don't know, man, this game is crazy. The only problem is Galadriel, legit, I'm telling you. I think Mordor should be building up the second one, I'm telling you guys. Second fortress, maybe that's the way to go. Just why not? There is no rule that this uh, you can do that if you have money, of course, no problem. And Mordor is kind of poor now. What is it? What is it doing? 
I mean, I think he was investing too much money into something. Black Riders, of course, cost a lot of money. They cost 2,000 each. And Mordor is so poor now. And Elves, they are kind of wealthy. The Fortress is building up at 33%. So it's a matter of time. Power points from Mordor are still reloading. There comes the Tornado. And Tornado is just too devastating. Not only against units, but also against buildings. The Tree Beard is keep shooting all the time. And... How many shots will he need? Maybe six more shots. And this one is going to be taken down. Summon this, maybe. It has no fire arrows. He's going ham. He's, you know, he, he knows he needs to take a risk. Beautiful shot from the catapult. If he can kill Treebeard before the barricade, he's going to move. He's going to move. He knows he doesn't, gonna, he doesn't want to give you the chance to... He doesn't use fire arrows, too. You need fire arrows, man. Catapult. Oh. Boom. It is burning, but there is another end coming. Another end coming. Oh my goodness, man. He's gonna... He's burning. He's taking damage over time. Is he gonna die to it, though? I don't know. The burn is not, you know, lasting forever. It's a hero at the end of the day. The catapult has been taken down. The fortress, it's only one hit away. Three bit is still burning. Mouth of Stern is back in the business. Evil eye him. He's gonna evil high. He's killing him, but the fortress has been just killed. And... Elven Fortress is back in the business very soon. That's gonna be the game, boys. Look at him getting, getting one-shotted. Tranduil, level 9. Is, is he gonna call it GG or is he gonna try to build the fortress one more time? That's gonna be the big question. Because he has money for it. No, he doesn't have money for it. He's kinda poor. He has money for it. <gasps> there is no way, dude. He's, this, he's not giving up. He is not giving up. He's building the fortress again. It's the finals. You don't give up in the finals. Garadri is chilling. Fortress back in the business. He has used foresight to get vision. So he knows what he's up to, right? No, he doesn't. He has no vision. I think he's gonna scout this area because he sees the siege weapons coming anyway. That's the vision of elves, right? He has no vision around this area at the bottom left corner. So he doesn't see the fortress. Elves have 5,000 plus in the bank. The ends, they will keep going all the time. They will siege you non-stop. And you can't really approach them. The Mirkwood plus level 9 Tranduil, level 10 Haldir are just too powerful to stop. Uh, you know, to, to kill them. So, the tech trolls are coming. The fortress is up on the, on the menu. The power points are reloading. Flat is going to be available in about 2 minutes. So is Sunflayer. And so, is e so are Eagles. Cloud Break too very, very soon. And Mordor has no access to his power points yet. I think the Fortress from Elves are also good protected. It's good protected. You see level 3, Malon 3 will shoot. Archers with silver and arrows inside the tower. He's building up the armory. Building up the walls again. It's hard to be committed to this area. He has also upgraded on the Fortress now for the defense. So even if you use Reina Fire plus Balrog, it will... I mean, Balrog is very vulnerable against Silverton Arrows. So a couple of archers with Silverton Arrows can kill him. And also Galadriel can kill him. You can see Attack Troll can't really do much. He will get shot from multiple different sides the second he's trying to approach. And he doesn't deal too much damage to the Fortress because it's upgraded. Unlike those ants, they actually slaughter everything. The level 3 Malone tree is going to be... Uh, I mean, Lumber Mill is going to be destroyed. Galadriel is looking, he was able to see the fortress with the ends, the fortress has to be cancelled. Yes, now the money for the fortress, yes, but he can't build it. Elves won't give him the chance to do that. It needs ages to build a fortress from, from 0 to 10, 100, and he's gonna call it. That's gonna be the game number one, boys. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And one thing is certain, the win condition in this game was definitely Galadriel.